new tonight. We are learning more about the 10-year-old boy killed in a murder-suicide earlier this week. The Oceana County Sheriff's Office says the child's mother shot him and then herself. News 8's Jacqueline Francis sat down with the boy's family as they try to understand how this could have happened. Jacqueline. Sue and Brian, investigators say the boy's mother struggled with mental illness. The father, who had full custody, telling me he only recently allowed the mom back into their kids' lives, never imagining something like this could happen. All I remember is tunnel vision. Get to the hospital. Danny Santos says it still doesn't feel real. His son airlifted to the hospital with a gunshot wound to the head. Prayed to God that he would help get him through because life is never going to be the same without him. And it isn't. Ethan Anawishki died Monday, just a month shy of his 11th birthday. He had a big heart. He loved everybody. He's a really silly kid. Investigators say he was killed at the hands of his mother, 38-year-old Melissa Anawishki, in an apparent murder-suicide. It happened Monday in Oceana County. Ethan's dad waking up to this text message from his ex-wife. 5 a.m., I get the text message that said, I'm sorry, I can't live without my son. At first, he didn't think much of it, only later realizing the meaning of the message. You can't fathom anybody doing something like that. He says his ex had a history of alcohol abuse, prompting CPS to remove the kids from her care. Santos got full custody, but recently agreed to let Ethan stay with his mom for part of the summer, saying she appeared to be doing better. She had a place. She was working full time. No, she was, it sounded to me like she was getting, getting her life together to get the kids back. She said she had room for them. She had beds for them. And I was excited for him. The oldest son, Owen, turning down the invitation, now wishing he would have been there for his little brother. I don't know how I feel about that opinion, because I wish I could be with him for a little bit more. Do you miss him? A lot. Despite her recent absence in his life, the family says Ethan was always a mama's boy at heart, the same mom that took his life before her own. Did he see the person he loved the most in his world? getting ready to hurt him? Did he see that? Or was it at least in his sleep so he wouldn't see it? And I really pray that he was asleep. When asked if he regrets allowing the mother back in their kid's life. I regret it because of the outcome. I don't regret the fact that I tried to continue that bond with his mom. A part of Ethan will live on to help others as his father chose for his organs to be donated. Reporting in studio, Jacqueline Francis, News 8.